Guys, I kid you not, I may have just entered into the most insane wrestling action figure collection that I have ever seen in my life. So right now, man, we are actually in the Fig Vault. I am in the Fig Vault, and if you guys don't know what that is, it's actually an Instagram page. You need to go follow them right now. I'll put the link in the description down below. But we're up here for WrestleMania 40, the biggest WrestleMania ever, and he invited me over to see his collection, Caveman, and I'm absolutely blown away right now. All right, man, so I guess what we're going to do is we're just going to tour the Fig Vault, man. Huge shout-out to Joe for making this video possible. He hit me up, wanted me to come over, see the collection, and I was happily obliged to come over and see this, man. But the entire thing is massive. It is a massive basement full of not only wrestling action figures, but you also have G.I. Joe's down here. You have Masters of the Universe. You have all kinds of stuff, man. So what we're going to do is I guess I'm just going to pick a shelf and we'll go one by one through everything, man. Or actually, F that. We're going to the top of the stairs and we'll come down. All right, man. So when you enter into this chamber right here, it's kind of crazy. It's pretty echoey, too. But he has this LED sign on the wall. It says the Fig Vault. Beautiful logo, by the way. And this is a perk. This is, I mean, this is the dream. If you had an MDT logo here and then you go down into your nice vault down here of collectibles it's just unreal but if you come down the staircase right here man it will lead into this incredible museum of wrestling action figures and just collection in general man so let's go ahead and get into it and start off with these shelves over here so this first shelf we're looking at is the retro shelf man i mean you have all sorts of superstars is this a complete collection right here it is not okay so it is not a complete collection but i mean my man has I mean, it's just a beautiful site, man. And you have some stuff in here that's not even, you know, figure related. You just have some different, uh, I, don't, I don't know, memorabilia. I mean, you have a box of cereal back here. You have some oatmeal. You have all kinds of crazy stuff, man. So I always appreciate, you know, stepping into the, the vault, if you will, and pulling out some really cool collectibles here. And I'm just blown away, man. The, the, also, not only is the, the collection clean, man, but just the presentation of it, the display of it, is really beautiful. He's done a great job here. I believe these are Billy bookcases or something. I mean, he has got a little bit of everything here. But if we move on from the retro shelf, we do get into our first bookcase of elites here. And my man has it set out by era, technically, for the most part. And he's done a beautiful job, man. Even the lighting is just immaculate, man. So we're going to go through these different shelves, showcasing the different eras. And then he even has the... AEW figures up here. You have, you know, the Hogan Target exclusive th uh, three pack right here. What are these figures right here? Asylum All Stars. Asylum All Stars. Okay, I've never seen those in person. Those are beautiful. Great packaging on those. We also have the Blood and Guts, John Moxley, Kenny Omega. We got a little Sabu. And then we do have the CM Punk MJF dog color match. And then we ended up on the wall with some uh, Major Pod stuff, which is cool. Starting out first right here, be just beautiful. I like the spacing here. You know, he's he's doing something a bit different here. A lot of people, you know, they like to get their displays out and put their figure on the display stands. I'm not really a display stand kind of guy because I'm constantly picking my figures up and I don't want to have to pull them off the stand, if that makes sense. So that's where I'm at with it. But beautiful looking figures here. A lot of different figures that I, I hope that we see return to the Elite line, but even have Rick Martell up here. We have the Nasty Boys, which I, I slept on forever, passed on them, and, and finally, uh, I, I still haven't picked them up. I, I had an opportunity and passed, and now I regret it every day of my life. But down here, man, even more beautiful. You'll also see some really good customs or fix-ups in here, which I can appreciate, obviously, with action figure surgery. We got Von Eric here. Just just, just some completely beautiful. I, I do hate that Macho Man, the Ultimate Edition. I hate that we did not get, and actually we're coming up on the one year anniversary that we witnessed that Ultimate Edition Macho Man figure at WrestleMania 39. And now to see the Elite here makes me sad. So that's that's sickening. Wait till we get to the WCW shelf and then I'll relive not getting the Nitro stage all over again. Just awful, man. <laughs> Just so bad. I think about that stage every day. From here, man, we move on down. Now, one thing that's interesting is he says he likes the uh, the Jack Stephanie better than the Elite 94, which I can also get, you know, get on board with. I think that this is a solid figure here, and that Elite 94 definitely had some problems with it. We do have more figures up here. Now we're talking. Got some Ruthless Aggression coming in here, looking pretty damn good, and plenty more to come. We have that Ultimate Edition Taker and the Legends Wave coming soon, so that should be good. We move down. We got more of like some modern day stuff. It even has the custom Pikachu on the Logan Paul Ultimate Edition right there. We got the Supreme Cody in there. Do you not have the uh, Mattel Creations Ultimate? Cody? Yeah. Don't like it. Don't like it. So you passed on. You got the Supreme over here. I do see the box over there, though. No, I got it mocked. Okay. I just don't, I, I'm not going to display it. Jazz okay. Wears has done a better job. Okay. So okay. Far. What do you think about the new Ultimate? I think it's going to be better than the Jazz Wears. Okay. Okay. 
the that, colors are correct. That remains to be seen. I do like this fix up Matt Hardy here with the elite, the WrestleMania elite head sculpt on there. Looks pretty good there. You got Velveteen in here. We got CM Punk. Very cool little little modern day shelf right there. And then we move in and you got sort of like 2015, 16, 17 era here. More like 2015. Look at this ultimate Seth Rollins back here that he fixed up. You'll actually notice there's an empty cash-in Toys R Us exclusive Rollins Elite that is missing the figure. And I said, yo, what the hell is that? And he said, I actually converted that into an ultimate. And then he showed me this. And I was like, oh, okay. So it's valid. It's very valid here. I wish he had the updated legs, but it's still a, a very valid custom right here. But got some more modern day stuff here. Really wish they would release that Elite 45 as an ultimate, but we're moving right along, man. Very cool down here as well. Got some more flashbacks. Clean aesthetic here. Moving on. Uh, I, I just, I, I told him that when I saw his collection, just walking up to the shelves and seeing the different figures with this kind of lighting and everything, man, just to see somebody appreciate their collection, to give it this display and everything like that, just brings me genuine joy. So I appreciate him having me here to look at the collection. You got Red Rooster back there, Hillbilly Jim. Really wish that could get a Greatest Hits or Legends treatment, but we are uh, moving right along, man. Just a, a beautiful display. We come up into here, man. It's just so beautiful, man. It's just so beautiful to see collections like this. You know, it always just makes me happy. Look at this custom rock up front right here, which I think looks beautiful. Got this custom shirt in there. Really nice display as well. He's even got the shiny loafer shoes on, looking very clean. We finish it up here. We really need the Hardys to come back to WWE so we can get some updated elites and ultimates of those guys. But finishing it up, even got Moolah in the back there. And then coming up, even more fit. Man, just, just such a... And it's so nice to see, you know... It kind of reminds me, when you look at the shelves like this, it kind of gives me, like, character selection screens on video games. It's kind of what it reminds me of. And you kind of have, like, you know, like, the whole roster together. It's just beautiful. I know, like, I have my collection where it's, like, timeline order and whatnot. But when you can see all of the characters up next to each other, it reminds me of one big poster or, you know, things of that nature. So, I just love it. You even have this fix-up Ultimate Taker right here, which is, you know, looks good. He did say that people would probably give him shish for this Taker being here. But, uh, it is what it is, man. You know, his display. Got the goon back here. IRS. Very, very clean, man. I'm just enjoying myself. I'm just enjoying myself. Even got Giant Gonzalez in the back here with Taker. Got that Elite 47 Gold Dust. Elite 47B, I think it was, which was such a random set. Like, now that we look back in retrospect, what a random set that they included. We got the Rockers up front. Got the Mega Powers. Nice Warrior Legends. I like that. Uh, is that a custom Robo Macho right there? Yes. Is that from Ralph's? No. No, not Ralph's? I got that on eBay okay. in 2014. Wow. He's no longer in business. Oh, okay. Come down to WCW, man, looking very good. Got that, dude, that Sting right there, that's my favorite Sting Mattel head sculpt they ever made. Oh, yeah. Is that one back there. Yeah. Got the three-pack Hogan. We got ringside exclusive Wolfpack Sting. Oh, dude, I love the fur coat on Macho back here. Just, man, what were you saying? Oh, so Godfather Superstars coat is what that coat is, man. Very genius, man. That's, that's the beauty of collecting. I say it all the time, man, is when you can take outside things and put them together and make, you know, combine them with your own collection, man. You even got custom one-man gang here. We got Eddie Guerrero, Hall of Champions. Got Kamala. Oh, man. Got Paul Orndorff down here. Sting, Cactus Jack. Love it, man. Build a figure, J.J. Dillon. Got the Chase Boss, man. I don't think I've ever seen that figure in person, so this is my first time. I'm really behind on my Chase figures, man. Makes me sick. Also, one thing that pops me is the animated Spider-Man or retro-carded Spider-Man stuff here on the wall. This is beautiful. I have my own collection of these, but he has more than me, of course. Uh, I'm way behind, but we do have some of those. We have some Joes as well. Not going to spend too much time on... I do believe he's, he's working on getting his YouTube channel up and running, but not going to spend too much time here because, frankly, I don't know what the hell I'm talking about with him. But if you guys are interested in something like that, maybe... When he uh, creates his channel, maybe that's some things that he can also touch on. But over here, we do have some Ultimate Editions here. Now, I don't think... Do you have every single one, or is this just... No. no not a complete set, but he does have, you know, most of them here. Men on card and loose, and they look really, really good, man. They look awesome. I have never seen the Chase Razor in person, so that's nice. And I, that's another thing, man. People think that, you know, just because... I have my crazy collection that, you know, I just have every single thing under the sun, which is just not true. I actually am missing quite a bit. And so it's always beautiful and refreshing to see a lot of people with things that I don't have. And it also makes me vomit, but it's also nice to see. I like to go into people's collections and see their stuff. Also got some NECA horror stuff. 
very big on my channel as well. And then one thing that popped me too is the Playmate Simps Simpsons figures down here, man. Unreal. Just so beautiful. Me and my brother used to collect this. My brother's a massive Simpsons fan. I'm also a Simpsons fan, but he was huge into it as kids. So seeing this collection up together is just amazing, man. Just so beautiful. Got Flanders down here, man. Looking so good, man. Love it. And then down here, we even have some turtle stuff, which I, you know, I dabble in some turtle. I don't collect it, but I, you know, I grew up watching Ninja Turtles and things like that. But over here, man, look at this ridiculous wall of elites. It goes from here. I mean, how many feet would you say that is, man? I mean, that's got to be, that's got to be like 20, 20 yards of men on card elites, at least. Last time I counted, it wasn't complete. And the wall's still out. Okay. I would say, I would, I would, because you have what, five in a row right there, and it goes that way 20 times five there's a there's way more than 20 rows he has hundreds of figures here or at least a hundred figures men on card and a lot of them are autographed on this wall this wall is absolutely incredible he even has that i don't even have mine yet i i don't even have the bischoff ultimate edition here but we have some four packs we have uh, some two packs some ringside exclusives here i mean if you took the time he also has that unreleased rvd chase men on card which is beautiful i only have it loose but you have some different autographs here, Bret Hart. Some of the autographs on this wall, you won't even believe, man. He has a full WWE Elite Legends collection. So we're going to take a look at that as well. But you do have some Chase figures down here. You have some random elites. You got Isaac Yankum down there. Even have the Shockmaster. So we do have quite a bit. I could actually see them redoing that Shockmaster now that I think about it. Um, since they do have the rights to that, I could see them doing that in Greatest Hits or Legends Greatest Hits. But we do have uh, some more. <laughs> like, dude, he has... So many autographs up here, man. Like, I look at a figure, I'm like, is that autograph? And sure as hell is. Look at the Cactus Jack autographed elite here, men on card. So, you know, it really takes it another step, especially when you get the right paint pen, man. So, uh, a beautiful looking collection here. We got Red Rooster men on card as well. Just an, in just an insane, insane visual to see, man. You know, when you see the figures all lined up on the wall or on the shelves, that's also an insane visual. But when you can see people actually make the most out of the men on card stuff or out of the boxes... That's really something that, you know, I, I feel like you don't really get to see that a lot. But here's that Rollins that I was talking about that he converted into an ultimate. But I'm just going to uh, pan through here and, and chime in. But just an unreal. I don't think I've even ever seen a Mark Henry autographed elite before. You see the drawing goes? Well, stick figure lifting up weights. Oh, snap. So he says that his signature is like a little stick figure lifting or, or power lifting which i think is awesome and i always appreciate people having you know those really cool things added to their signature so that's awesome we have the zodiac up here more figures so what we're about to get into man is this is a full mint on card legend set so i'm talking all the way from the very beginning i mean this man has a set that i never even knew existed so he has all of these Legends 2-packs. I mean, I knew those existed. That's not what I'm talking about. I knew those existed. I know about these single-carded elites that are beautiful, right? But I never I never saw this, this dual combo pack here with the belt, the Intercontinental Championship, Toys R Us exclusive, Stone Cold Steve Austin, and Rock 2-pack with the DVD, man. I mean, that just shows the age of it right there, DVDs. But we do have uh, this foot. This may be... I don't know if it's my favorite part of his collection, but it's definitely up there. I mean, this is something you don't see, man. You have Hillbilly Jim's autograph, George the Animal Steel, Paul Orndorff autographed Elite Legends here. So we're we're getting a lot of really unique things. Akeem Men on Card. You have Rick Martell, Texas Tornado, Tully Blanchard, DDP over here. Of course, we did get an ultimate of that. Eddie Guerrero, even though the Elite looks much better, all things considered. Even have Demolition over here. I mean, I am I am blown away. I'm truly speechless. When I came down here, we I mean, we talked an hour before I even got to filming because I was just so blown away by everything that he's got going on here, man. So, got some Ted DiBiase up here. Just tons of autographs, man. Like, just such a unique collection, and it's so crazy. Like, when you stand back and get this visual right here where you can see every single figure, and then you even have all these Funkos down here in these shelves, and then you walk up. So, you have Funkos down here which I don't collect, but I understand the community. We do have Defining Moments figures down here as well. You have the Defining Moments 4-pack, which I'm really excited. At the time of recording this, this is Wednesday night before WWE World Opens. When uh, they reveal the next Defining Moments pack, that's something that I'm very, very excited about. So I'm intrigued to know who the hell is going to be in that pack. Hopefully they're not bummerific. And if they were bummerific, I'll probably put a fart noise and then include the images of those figures on the screen. So hopefully they'll be good. But then we also have the Amazon exclusive 
WrestleMania 10 2 pack with Razor and Shawn Michaels. We have some more Ultimate Editions here. And what's even crazier, man, is you have all these things men on card, but um, back in the back, he even has. I bet you probably looked at that and probably thought that that was. They probably saw this, like from this angle. If you didn't notice the logo right here, you would think that's an Elite One Jeff Hardy men on card, but. <laughs> He does have an Elite 1 CM Punk men on card and an Elite 6 CM Punk men on card, but we also have some AEW chases and things down here. But I am just blown away, man. I am blown away. I am speechless. I came down here, and I couldn't speak. I, I am just truly amazed at the collection. It's a beautiful sight to see. So when we finish up here, like, obviously, you have your Loose Elites here. You have your Ultimate Editions over there. You got the men on card stuff over here, of course, but it doesn't even end there, which makes me vomit again. So I just think about just how much time, because I have my insane collection, right? But when I look at somebody else's and I can tell, you know, the effort obviously that went into it, I know how long it took him to set this up. You also have some Masters of the Universe over here as well. And then you have, you know, modern retros, which are also very good. You have the beautiful winged eagle, of course. But he, you have his uh, modern retros, and then you also have WWE or Masters of the WWE Universe figures here, which are so cool because you can actually pop these together. Like, look at this right here. He made this custom Hogan. This never released, but he used Superstars figures. And you can kind of take Superstars figures. Like, he made that Sting, and he made some of these different figures by just, you know, you can just kind of shove them together, man. You can make these custom Superstars figures by just, you know, snapping and popping, which is what I really hope that, you know, Mattel implements into the Elite line eventually, how they've been doing with Build-A-Figures. I'm not going to hold my breath, but it's still something I can dream about. But still a beautiful collection over here, man. I mean, oh man, you even have some bone crunchers over here, which are always great, which is kind of where my collecting journey started as a kid. You got Al Snow with head over there. But yeah, man, I mean, the collection is just beautiful. It's just beautiful. And I really like the uniqueness of this. It would actually be cool to do some like WWE superstars surgery on the channel in some capacity because i would love that sting that sting is immaculate i need that i'm actually you know what i mean the the whole collection is just is glorious man i'm i'm super impressed i think it looks immaculate you even have the entertainment over here he's also an eagles fan so he does have the representation here got some AEW over here as well happen to have the uh unrivaled one chase cody do you i have it loose but i don't i, I just for it's in one of my bins Okay, so he does have it loose. He does have it loose. I'm actually going to have to see that before I leave. And look at that. The most disappointing wrestling figure of all time falling down. Who, I mean, who who would put it past him? Nobody. Because look at him. Fell, fell over right there. That Luchasaurus figure disappointed the shish out of me. And then these are called stack downs, you said? Yep. Stack down figures right here, which I never knew what they were called, but they're so damn awesome, man. Just such a unique line of really unique characters when you shrink them down like that. You know, you take an intellectual property like WWE Superstars, you shrink them down into the Lego form, and you can just print money. And then over here on the wall to wrap it up, we do have some more Bone Crunchers men on card. Now, if I went, if I took the time to just go through every single figure and, you know, detail it, it would take me way too long. And I don't think I even have the storage on my device that I can actually do that. But I tried to do my best to, you know, do it justice and go through the collection. But it's truly just such a beautiful experience. And um, I don't have a filmer. So that's also a thing. I think the video probably would have been a little bit better had I had a filmer that could, you know, like my brother couldn't make the trip this year, which is unfortunate, but it's still just such a beautiful collection, man. I had to make a video down here, man. And I greatly appreciate Joe for having us. And you need to go check out the Fig Vault. I do believe he's, he says that he's wanting to start a YouTube channel and start get going on that. He also sells on whatnot from time to time. And maybe that's something you'd be interested in. But definitely go check them out on Instagram, man. I had a ton, I had a, such a blast. It's been a blast to go through the collection and venture through with him and take a look at everything, man. But I think that is going to pretty much wrap up this Fig Vault Room Tour collection video, man. But I think that pretty much is going to wrap up this tour, man. I had an absolute blast, like I've stated before. And also, my man Joe gifted me with a men on card unpunched Masters of the WWE Universe thing. I am beside myself. This is amazing, man. Thank you so much, brother. I appreciate that. I tried my best to, you know, like tackle him and say I'm not going to accept this. But uh, I feel like it's pretty rude to just, you know, decline somebody trying to gift you with something. So I do appreciate that, man. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, Joe. No problem. So I appreciate Joe and his kindness here. And not only this, but for allowing us to come into his home and film his collection. That's actually a very gracious thing to do. And I appreciate him so very much. But huge shout out to our patron members of the MDT YouTube channel, man. Appreciate all you fellas over there, man. Thank you guys so very much for your continued support. And also follow us on Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok at My Damn Toys. All the WrestleMania coverage here, man. Hopefully the reveals were good. Hopefully the events have been good. But I am, uh, I'm just, I'm, I'm so gracious for this, man. Thank you so much, Joe. 
I appreciate it, man. But that is going to wrap the video. Thank you for watching. Subscribe to the channel. I'll see you guys next time. Have a blessed one, and I'll catch you later.